this is Crenstar, and today I'm going to get a little bit creative uh, and or uh, allow the MIDI tools to get creative for me. I, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to uh, use some of these sample libraries and chop them, rearrange them into something kind of cool. I got this plugin called Loop Mix from Audio Modern. And uh, what it allows me to do is it allows me to take drum loops or actually any type of audio, chop it up quite randomly, uh, and play them differently. So right now I got I got a couple of drum loops here. So if I press down the key, it'll play the drum loops. If I actually hit the... And as you can see... The highlighting up top, if I hold down a key, it plays the entire loop. Uh, and basically, that that's these drum loops here. I need to stop. Okay, so that's a cool one. So if I find a drum loop that I like, I can I can drag it, drop it onto here. And it, it loads in the drum loop and it plays different spots on there. So they got some presets down here so that I can I can sit there and click on the keys and it plays sort of semi-randomly or you're, you click on the buttons and it does a lot of randomization for you. cool but this is not the end all be all of it you can also take other types of loops and samples uh let's say like um like flutes or synths or uh guitars and stuff like that drag them onto there and drop them uh, i like using drums uh drum loops because it kind of goes uh, a little bit uh Up here, you got a little bit of control of how it random, how much it randomizes with the sequence, the the rearranging. Uh, if you want to play it in reverse, uh, and you can turn them off and on up here, uh, the density, the volume of what it does, and overall the pitch. So if I wanted to, to try pitching it up on the randomness, totally crazy. I don't like that though. a quite decent beat. I like. Kind of cool, kind of crazy, but it, things are going to change. As I said, uh, I mean, this is not the, the focal point of this video. This is just the uh, tool that I'm going to be using to create some real, real insanity. Uh, case in point. Here, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up a Reason player. This is called Beatmap. Uh, what it does is it, based upon the geography of this, it will play these uh, notes, uh, dep depending on, on where you are on the map. Sometimes it, it the highlight, so it'll play the percussion more. Sometimes it'll play the kick more. Sometimes it'll play the snare more. Uh, overall, you've got control of what notes it's playing. So what we're going to do is we're going to hook it up to the loop, loop mix, and we're going to try to target 
these C2 notes to get it to constantly hit the notes and, and create a utterly chaotic um, rhythm. So we're going to move these up to the, 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 the second range. So C2. Okay, I'm, I miss red. Kind of dark on there. It's got to be on the C3 range. So, as you can tell at the bottom, it's pressing those keys. So I got hats loaded. It's a plug-in that, that does ha uh, hi-hats type of things. But what the one of the things it does is it allows you different patterns on the hi-hats to come up with some really unique or innovative things. So I got hooked that hooked up to the beat map also. Uh, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna see how much chaos is involved. kind of funky overall not too bad this kick so far all right now i've i've not touched anything but assigning sounds to this so far uh and and uh samples so i'm going to continue on with with the our our could you almost call ai journey or your your um midi tool journey here and we're gonna we're gonna kick in some melody sauce uh we're gonna we're gonna drive in a little bit of uh, a tune we're gonna we're gonna always like starting off with a little bit of light here uh let's do the xylophone just uh, just to see what this sounds like kind of 
kind of fitting. Overall, not bad, not bad. Uh, maybe throw in uh, something with a little bit of craziness with, uh, let's, let's duplicate this. Uh, and we can use the, is it, oh, chord jam, possibly? Ooh, crashy, crashy, not good. All right, now let's give it a voice. Uh... What are we thinking? If it takes too long, I'm going to cut it and try something, but I, I'm thinking pigments. Something in the pigments area should do it for some, some chords. Pigments always a good option for chords, in my opinion. One of these days, I'm going to make a video on my favorites for, per kind of best in class for, for doing stuff. purely by accident went really well together in my opinion let me know what you guys think in the comments how that goes but uh overall kind of chilling how, how scarily it just it just popped for a little bit of uh kind of what 10 minutes of of playing around uh got a beat got a melody got uh a little bit of accompanying chord behind it um overall maybe a little bit of uh steel drums would be awesome on this uh i don't think i have any uh sampled or otherwise um it'd be really cool if i could live play it though uh just watch community uh, the end part where uh, the at the it, it, uh, never mind. I don't want to give any spoilers, but uh, steel drums. That's all I gotta say. Um, pretty cool. Um, overall, I, I kind of like it. Kind of, kind of hope that you did too. Um, but anyway, any rate, wanted to end it off here. Wanted to wanted to try some insanity, trying to merge a couple of MIDI tools together to try to break out something different than using, uh, let's say Captain Chords that I normally do or uh, Scalar. Uh, or any of those. Uh, love Melody Sauce. I, I don't use it enough anymore. Uh, I, I, I think I have been uh, recently, but but it's been a while because uh, I've been trying to use Captain Chords more, but either or. Uh, a lot of different tools have a lot of different fun uses. Uh, there's, there's usually the ones that I have my go-to, but there's also pulling out kind of doing unique things with other MIDI tools and kind of put them together and see how you can get some of them to get influenced by others, uh, to get really unique kind of sounding things. Uh, and overall, um, just kind of different music. So, uh, anyway, thanks for listening. If you've, you've made it this long, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the, the video and I will see you later.